everyone and welcome back to our Odoo 17 tutorial series. In today's episode, we are diving into the important topic of security. Specifically, we will explore how Odoo ensures that your data stays safe and how you can control who get access to what. Let's get started. Before we jump into the technical details, let's set the stage. Imagine you have a thriving business application with the tons of valuable data. Now the question arises, who should have access to this data? This will auto robust security mechanism come into play. So let's move to our custom module. Here, education is the custom module for managing the students in a school. And for simply, and here we define the model student.student student. and these are some fields related to this model and also here inside views file and define the view for this model student.student student. after that I am going to install this module from apps activating the module But uh, I installed a module, uh, but there is no, uh, we can't see the module yet. So uh, that is why we need to add the access, uh, that is we need to add the security for this model for viewing the uh, data and viewing the model. So go to PyCharm, for that we need to create a directory that is security and inside the security, uh, add a new file ir.model.access.csv this ir.model.access is the model uh, for giving the access for every model here inside the file uh, we need to define some required uh, fields from the model ir.model.access so here you can see id name model id group id and after that permission for all models sorry permission for the model that is a uh, read a write create and unread so let's move to the ua and check for these access here inside the access rights we can see the name model group and all accesses that's we are defined here so after that uh, we can add the security for our model. So give an ID then next will be the name. Give a random name access dot student dot student. So I am leaving uh, here blank so all, all groups can access that model student or student. Sorry, before that after giving the name we need to add the model ID. So here we can add the model ID that will follow model underscore the name of the model student student. Instead of a student dot student, it is here student dot student. Instead of student dot student, we can add student underscore student. After that, we can add the group. If you want to spe uh, add specific group, we can add here. Then I am let it blank. Then after that, we can give all the permission. First one will be the permission for read. Then I am giving that permission. The next will be the write. Then next will be the create. Next will be the permission for unlink or delete. So run Python. Move to auto. From apps, I am updating the module after giving the security.
Now the model is moving here and we have all the permission creating, deleting and ready. So this is um, how to influence security in all. So give the right people the right access. It's about security, securing your data for your team's efficiency. That concludes our brief exploration of security in Oro 70. In the next video, we will give deeper into advanced security features. Stay tuned for more insights and happy coding.